Hi, I'm Heather Hofel, and I've been asked to give some thoughts on the composing process. For me, the composing process always starts with some sort of inspiration. It could be an event, an experience, somewhere I've been, uh, or something I've seen, anything at all. And sometimes a melody will come to me right away, and sometimes it takes a while. A lot of times, melodies will come to me when things are quiet, when I'm swimming laps, when I'm taking a walk, uh, sometimes even in the middle of the night. And when I get these melodies, they're usually pretty short. I sing them into my phone so I can access them later. And then I start putting them in the computer. And as I do that, I start hearing other things that go along with the melody. Counter melodies, bass lines, percussion parts. Um, and I can usually hear what instrument I want all of these things to be in as well. Writing a piece of music is a lot like writing an essay. It has to have form, just as an essay has an introduction and a body and a conclusion. Uh, it should be cohesive. Certain elements of the piece will return, maybe in their original form or maybe a little bit changed. Um, and of course it has to say something. And uh, it, with any luck at all, it will make you feel something as well. Julie Giroux has said that it's important to make friends with your delete key. Just as you start an essay with a rough draft, a piece of music can be edited all the way up until it's published. And a lot of times it should be. <laughs> Sometimes if I get stuck, I'll take uh, what I've got so far and I'll make a copy of it on my computer and go an entirely different direction. Eventually, the piece will sort of tell me how it's supposed to be and that's, that's the way it will be. What's awesome is when you get in the zone. You can really get lost when that happens and time will go by very fast and I won't even realize that I've been writing for several hours. Um, so let the ideas come to you and see what happens.